Today in our 2018 Mazda CX-5, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Yakima Halfback 2 trunk mounted 2 bike rack. That's part number Y02636. So I've already got everything all loaded up just to give you a good idea what it looks like and how it's going to hold our bikes. Now in my personal opinion, I would say this is a quality bike rack. Compared to the Yakima Fullback, it has a few differences. It doesn't have locks and it doesn't have rubber coated cam buckles, but still a great bike rack. So if this isn't a concern for you, then it's a great bike rack for you. Um, we've got two bottle openers here at the end, so you can enjoy some buds at the end of your hard ride. It's got soft cradles compared to most bike racks. So it's gonna have a soft ride for our bike, so we don't have to worry about any damage. And it also has uh, zip strips compared to a rubberized strap that covers the bike that can, to, that can deteriorate over time. So it uses two zip strips for our top tube and then one for our seat post tube. The one for our seat post tube is going to help cut down that sway when we're on the road, prevent bike to bike contact, bike to bike rack contact, and even bike to vehicle contact. Now it also comes with a strap to prevent our front wheel from bumping around back and forth when we're on the road. But let's go ahead and take our bike off. It's a perfect time to show you how the zip strips work. We've got two tabs on either side that we can squeeze to pull them out. And when we're ready to secure our bike, they simply just push down in place. They, all, they too also feature rubber padding so we don't harm or scratch our bike. Go ahead and take our bike off and set that aside. Now I like to replace my straps, that way we don't lose them. Now another nice feature is that our cradles do fold. That makes it easier for loading and unloading. Let's go ahead and grab some measurements. So overall, with the arms out, we've added about 30 inches. A nice thing is they fold down. For compact storage, we're gonna rotate this hub upward and fold it down. Now this is ideal for close quarter parking or even pulling in a garage. So with the arms folded down, our measurement is now about nine and a half inches. Now the way this bike rack secures to our CX-5, it uses four straps. We've got two straps up top, and then we've got two straps down below. Now, I'm gonna show you a little example here. With our straps, we use what's called an anchor mode. It's an option for the straps. All of the straps come with rubberized hooks, so it won't damage our vehicle. For this particular vehicle, we take the strap, we run it up through the channel here, pull it all the way through, and this is what's anchor mode. So all the straps are, or excuse me, all the hooks are secured underneath the rear hatch when open, and then when it's closed, the strap can't come through. Now, we have an upright here that rests on our, on our rear window, excuse me. It is padded, so it's not gonna harm or scratch that window. Down below is also padded. You can see here it doesn't obstruct our license plate, so we're still gonna be legal. And our rear windshield wiper, we're not going to have use of that with our bike rack in place. One more thing I wouldn't recommend is opening up the rear hatch when our bike rack is in place. Uh, now, one other thing I like about this bike rack is that since it fits the way it fits, if you have any other SUVs or sedans in the household, it's probably gonna work with those as well. Just be sure to check your fit guide and set that center hub to whatever the fit guide says. But with that being said, that's gonna complete our test fit of the Yakima Halfback 2 trunk mounted two bike rack, part number Y02636 on our 2018 Mazda CX-5. First, we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side to side action such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots.